again. It's confessional time. It is Halloween. I want to talk about fears. Not like, the, you know, your fears. Oh, I'm afraid of spiders. I don't really care about your fear of spiders. No, I want to talk about real fears, deep-seated fears. And that's the panel tonight. <laughs> Patrick Bristow is back! Hey! Yeah. Happy Halloween, man. <laughs> First of all, I, I, I finally got to see Puppet Up in action, and it was fantastic. And you should go see Puppet Up. It's such a great performance. You Thank were not you. dressed like that, though. No, no. So no monsters, no spiders. What's your true down-to-earth fear? I'm going to sound really shallow. Yeah. It's not having my cell phone. Every time I leave... I know, I know. Every time I leave home and realize I've left it, mm -hmm. I feel so vulnerable out in the real world without, <laughs> without my digital leash. <laughs> and my access to photos and songs. <laughs> hey, listen, man, some people need a security blanket. It could be a song in that moment. To instead of a closet pan, you want to hit a song. Yes. I need this song, and I'll be OK, OK, right? you understand it. Yeah. You're not judging me. No. <laughs> OK, good. Not at all. Not I at all. a little judgment from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the suit, too. What are, you, what are you afraid of? Everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything. And I have a great respect for fear, because as soon as I became a mother, I was terrified and I will be for the rest of my life. And I think there is a biological purpose for this because mothers have to be a step ahead and always thinking of the darkest, most horrible place to go so that we can make sure that the kids don't actually go to that dark, horrible place. Right. Let me tell you, it is like, you know, can we go camping? No, we'll be eaten by cougars. Can we, <laughs> you know, pick shells off the beach? No, a rogue wave will happen. So <laughs> this is exhausting. It's 24-7. We didn't ask for this. It's inherent. Somebody has to step up to the fear plate. Mothers do it. Yep. And I would like to just take this moment to ask all children and husbands to please stop saying to us, honey, you worry too much because it's the only reason you're still here. <laughs> so fear everything. I like that. Fear. Now, before, before you cut to him, never mind the Swedish chef, how about the Pakistani chef? <laughs> <laughs> Ali Hassan. Er, the fear, the fear in the... Oh, have a fear of the gluten? Gluten <laughs> Are you, I, uh, what, are you, what are you afraid of? Uh, well, gluten, uh, to some <laughs> level, I, I, don't, I don't know much about it, but uh, a lot of people are getting very scared of it, so I'm getting scared of it as well. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever play into the fears? Did you ever have that thing, oh, there's a razor blade in your apple? Did you go through that? They would have this thing at the fire stations where you could bring your uh, trick-or-treat candy to be x-rayed or something like that. What? Mm. I have to throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so facing sweet. your fears. My biggest fear was germs yeah. growing up as a kid. I, it was borderline germophobia, if not full-blown. And uh, I feel proud of myself. I attacked that head-on. I just said, no, I'm not. I'm going to just... I'm going to go out and, and go right against this. And I would grab a public door handle and turn it <laughs> and then just suck on each finger. Right. You know what I mean? Ah! Nice. You gagged a little at first. <laughs> we'll be right back, facing more fears. <laughs> Candy, but I couldn't turn it down. I couldn't turn it down. All right, so before we get back uh, to them and talk about the fear, I want to show you a picture. Look at this here. This is an amazing photograph. Looks like a flamingo, right? But it's actually a Paralympic ski racer. This costume <gasps> wins Halloween forever. That's amazing. Go to Stromo.com. That is the coolest costume that you're going to see out there today. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Right, all. Okay, so. I'm going to play this game. I, listen, I, I, I really like to generally know what I'm talking about when I'm on this show, and I think like six times out of ten I do. But I'm going <laughs> to... Every single word I'm going to struggle with on this one. I want to play a fear game with you. I want to present you something that is a categorized fear. People actually have this, and you see if you can tell us what it is. Okay. This, right? What is this one? Ephemophobia. Uh, fear of your neighbors. In a way. Fear of the elderly neighbors? Opposite. This is the fear of and or the mischaracterization of teenagers. So people who look at, oh, no, you know, there are people who generally see a pack of kids walking down the street and they're yeah. like, oh, they're going to rob me. You know, that, that's... But they a, are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stab you. Yeah. Why is this considered some kind of freaky thought? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a good one here. Oh, Lord of mercy. Let's get some two cards. Oh, come on. 
Periscovetatriophobia. Periscovetatriophobia. I have this, actually. I have this. This is a fear of uh, Russian mail order brides. <laughs> fear of talk show hosts making it up, right. making things up. Actual yeah. fear. Do you know what this is? I don't know, but I'm afraid of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's people who have a fear of Friday the 13th, which speaks to your irrational fears. So I, That's look, crazy. Talk. I know. Of course it is. Hey, you guys are wonderful. How about a hand for the panel, everybody? <laughs> Ali Hassan, by the way, is headlining Absolute Comedy in Toronto until November the 3rd. Patrick Bristow still rocking Pump It Up at Toronto's Panasonic Theater until November the 3rd. Go to PumpItUp.com if you want details. And Catherine Greenwood, she's in Women Fully Clothed, Older and Hotter, which is November 15th in the St. Clair Capital Theater in Chatham, Ontario. They're giving out candy. Happy Halloween, Dead Things Canada. Very